have you ever wondered why Rudolph's nose is red? Hi, I'm Dr. Joel Intrashanko, and in this video we're going to be exploring this really important question. Now, animals come in all sorts of different colours, and it's my job as a visual ecologist to try and understand why animals have all these colours. Now, the most common coloration is just like this nightjar. So there's a bird hiding here in these leaves. And this, this coloration lets the bird blend in with its background, making it really difficult to find by predators, helping protect them. Now, have you seen it? There it is. So this is really incredible camouflage in this bird. But many animals have really bright colours as well, like these birds. Uh, so this is a kingfisher, a male showing off. So he's trying to show off how good he is uh, to the female, to the potential mate. And again, you've got this really bright, colourful, guppy male showing off to the more brown, boring looking female to try and attract them and show off how brilliant they are. So that's one reason why you have very colourful colours in nature. And another one, though, is to try and warn predators. So these animals, like this frog uh, and this moth, they have very bright red colours to show that they're poisonous to other animals, to tell them not to eat them because it'll make them sick. Now, there are still lots of types of coloration as well that we really don't understand. So for example, the, the, the zebra stripes here, we don't understand whether these are to try and confuse lions. For example, when the zebra is running away, it might be confusing having all these stripes moving around. But the stripes might also help protect the zebras uh, from nasty biting flies. Uh, so in some cases, we just don't know. And then there are cases where there are really bright colours to try and attract animals. So this is really common in plants, uh, which have fruit or flowers, which are often bright colours to try and attract different animals. And a really good example here uh, are holly berries. So these are a really important Christmas decoration, of course. But this red coloration is not to look nice for us at Christmas. This red colour is actually uh, to try and attract birds to eat the berries. And the idea is the bird will, will eat some of these berries and then when eventually the berry uh, seeds get pooed out at the other end, the bird will have flown away a long way and will poo out the seeds uh, and the, the seed will be able to grow happily a long way from where the, uh, where the tree was originally. So this helps spread holly trees all around. But sometimes the colours that we have are nothing actually to do with trying to be different colours. The colours are just a result of something else that's happening. So, for example, uh, we humans, when we get really hot, our cheeks sometimes uh, go bright red. But also when we get really cold, our cheeks go red. And this is because our bodies are pumping extra blood into our cheeks to try and uh, warm, warm up the skin or to help us cool down overall. So this is just about the temperature. And also think about on, uh, when it's very sunny in summer and you go out day after day, you build up a nice suntan. And that's you changing colour as a result of, of changes in the amount of sun, and that changing colour helps protect your skin uh, from extra damage from the, from the sunlight. So we can take these ideas for why different animals have different colours and try and use this to test the ideas for why Rudolph's nose was so bright red. Now actually, reindeer noses do turn slightly red in winter. So all, all reindeer noses sort of do this to some degree. Uh, so why? What's this doing? Well, if we could use a special camera, what's called a thermal imaging camera, this is a camera which can see heat. So very hot things appear bright yellow and red in this picture, and very cold things are more blue. And you can see here that Rudolph's nose is bright red, or this is just another reindeer, this isn't actually Rudolph. But the, the reindeer's nose is glowing bright red. But it's not actually red that we can see. This shows that the, the nose of the reindeer is really warm. So why, why might that be? Well, reindeer need to dig through the snow in winter to try and get to the, to the plants and the lichen underneath to eat. So of course it must be really cold on their nose, digging through all that, all that snow. So they, they can pump extra blood into their nose, just like our cheeks uh, on a cold day, pump extra blood to, uh, to help uh, warm up their nose um, and it just like our red cheeks in the cold, it makes them turn slightly red. But now, I don't know about you, but I'm not really convinced this is red enough to explain Rudolph. So I'm really expecting Rudolph's nose to be a bright, bright red, not, not like this, just slightly more pink than usual nose. So this idea is a possibility, but I don't think it explains the really vibrant colours that, uh, that we're expecting. So what about a warning signal? 
Could Rudolph's red nose be trying to act just like these colours in the frog and the moth, trying to warn off other animals not to eat them? So if we think about warnings, who might Rudolph try to be worn away? Well, the, the main predator of reindeer are wolves. So we need to think about what Rudolph and other reindeer would look like to a wolf. And this is where it gets really interesting because different animals actually see the world in very different ways. So we can think about this using the idea of a rainbow. You get a rainbow when you get white light, like the sunlight here uh, would be on a, on a rainy day, the sunlight being filtered through the little droplets in the cloud and separated into all the different colours that make up that white light. And we see that as this beautiful rainbow. And if we get white light and put it through a prism, uh, like over there, it splits the light into the different rainbow colours that you see there. Now, our, our eyes actually only see in three colours. Our eyes see in red, green and blue. And then our brains combine these different uh, red, green and blue signals to make the millions of different colours that we can see in the rainbow. But what about wolves? Well, wolf eyes actually only see in two colours. They can see in a sort of greeny yellow and blue. So to them, actually, the rainbows would look like this there'd be none of the greens or the reds in the rainbow, just some yellows and blues. So really different, they can't see the red. So to a wolf, Rudolph would not look like this. Rudolph would look more like this. And you can see the nose is almost impossible to see. So I think we can definitely rule out the idea that Rudolph's nose is a warning color to wolves. So what about trying to attract other reindeer? This is a really common thing in nature. Lots of animals have bright colours to attract mates, to show off how, how amazing they are to others. And a really good Christmas example of that is the robin's red breast, a really, really nice, vibrant Christmas colour. So could Rudolph be doing just this, showing off to all his friends and other reindeer? Well, again, to test this, we need to think what Rudolph would look like to other reindeer. And actually, just like wolves, reindeer don't have the right colour vision in their eyes. So again, they can just see the difference between blues and yellows, just like the wolf. But unlike the wolf, actually, reindeer can see deeper into ultraviolet light than either us or the wolves. Now, ultraviolet light is a part of the spectrum, a part of the rainbow that's invisible to us humans and wolves. If we could see ultraviolet, it would look like an extra colour beyond the blue. So you'd have yellow, blue, and then a bit more ultraviolet. And to the reindeer, this would look like a bit deeper blue, the more ultraviolet things get. So, could this be happening? Well, ultraviolet is, is quite common in signals in nature. It's important for all sorts of animals. So in this red flower, this is a bright red pelargonium, and it looks beautifully red to us. But the flower is really not trying to look red to us, just like the holly berries. It's actually trying to attract insects uh, to take its pollen away to other flowers. So what does it look like to an insect? Well, if we look at the same flower in ultraviolet bee vision, the bees can't see the red, but they can see ultraviolet. And the bottom image is how, it, how the colours would look to a bee. They can't see any of the red, but they can see a difference there that we can't see. You'll notice that some bits of the flower are bright blue and others are other bits of black. So there are colours and patterns there that a bee can see that are completely invisible to us and the colours can look completely different. So could Rudolph's nose be doing this? Could there be a hidden ultraviolet component uh, of Rudolph's nose? And so instead of Rudolph just looking like this to the other reindeer, Rudolph might, like, might look like this, with a sort of glowing blue nose, completely invisible to the wolves, which would be really handy, uh, and also invisible to us. That's a really neat idea, but unfortunately, unless I can take some uh, special photographs and measurements from Rudolph, uh, we really can't test this idea any further. So we just need to wait until we can get hold of Rudolph ourselves. But next, let's explore the idea that Rudolph's nose could light the way. Now, deep, deep under the ocean, where there's no light anymore from the sun, you do actually get quite a lot of, of animals which give off light. And this is called bioluminescence. And it can come in all sorts of amazing colours, uh, often, often blues and greens, but also sometimes reds. And some of them, like this amazing dragonfish, have little lights 
under their eyes and they use these lights to try and attract little animals so the animals get attracted to the light and then they can actually the glowing is strong enough that they can see the animals and eat them up um, so it's to lure them and to eat them but these lights are incredibly dim they would only allow the the dragonfish to to see other animals from really really uh, uh, really close just a few centimeters away so this would be no good for rudolph flying through the air at high speeds it wouldn't light his way anything like far enough uh, to be able to be of any use but perhaps even more importantly red would be exactly the wrong color for rudolph to use so lighting the way in red the reindeer can't see red, uh, so it would be of no use whatsoever to Rudolph. So I think we can definitely rule out the idea that this is bioluminescence, that it's, that it's able to light the way uh, for Rudolph himself. But what about signalling to another animal? So if you remember, the, the red berries and the red flowers, they are bright colours, they're signalling to another animal. Um, so for example, the, the holly trees are trying to attract uh, birds to eat the berries. Could Rudolph's nose uh, be doing this? And if so, I think the main person, the main animal that Rudolph would want to signal to is of course Santa. So could Rudolph's nose be red to try and attract Santa? Well assuming Santa has normal human vision, uh, which seems sensible, then his red nose would really stand out very well at night. So I think that is quite possible. Another really interesting benefit of having a red nose instead of another colour is that red will be visible for further distances than other colours. So there are actually in the air tiny bits of dust and the dust makes blue light bounce around all over the place a lot more than other colours. And that's the reason why the sky is blue. And it's also the reason why the mountains in the distance there uh, get bluer and bluer the further away they go. The blue is being all shuffled around but the red, actually, the red can cut through all of this dust much better. So it makes, it would be very convenient for Rudolph's nose, by glowing red, that red colour will be visible to, to Santa from further away, even on, 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 a, on a dark, dusty night. So that, overall, we can't rule out all of these ideas. There are still some that we, we, need, we need extra information to be able to test. Uh, but it seems likely that Rudolph's nose is most likely red to help Santa C. Rudolph. Uh, so there we go. I really hope you enjoyed this Science of Christmas video and have a great Christmas.